Hello and welcome to part 5 of my Champions League jersey review. Um, I pulled out the Ajax away jersey from the laundry. I wore it a few days ago. Didn't do laundry yet. I didn't want to pull down that one back there. Um, and why Ajax? Because Ajax is in this group and that's the one jersey I have from this group. Okay, let's get right to it. The top seed of course is not Ajax uh, but Bayern. And you gotta say Ajax and Bayern, I know Ajax is not a top 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 team anymore but those two are royalty. Those teams dominated the uh, first part of the 70s and both have won four and five Champions Leagues respectively. So yeah, uh, absolute royalty matchup and there's another royalty team in this group that we will look at uh, in a bit. So the first kit is the Bayern home kit uh, with the red and the weird um, diamond pattern which of course is the Bavarian flag. I have said it in my Bundesliga review it's a nice idea but it's probably a little bit too much pattering uh, also that you know they go back to the navy blue accents which um, they used in the 90s and I know it's the Bavarian flag but this is the Bavarian flag has a much lighter blue in there if you look at the club's crest um, I just don't like that honestly um, it's not a bad kit per se if I look at it uh, but it doesn't scream classic Bayern kit to me and for that I gave it only six stars now um, the away kit that decided on the mint green one is not used will probably not be used in Champions League unless it really screams for it I gave the two stars but you know you can see my review on it it's just doesn't look right to me and then we have the dark gray Awake it. This is used in European competition. They already used it on the first game day uh, against Benfica. Um, it looks actually in play better than it does look here. It's kind of this dark blue grayish shirt. Um, they could do so well uh, if they used the black shirt here or uh, use the navy blue that you had before. Just want to look at the rating. Yeah, I gave this uh, three star. Three star, and I also gonna stick with it because I really don't like the colors the colors too much. I, gray is just not a great color although it overall looks decent it is unusual. Also um, red the club color for Bayern is red 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 the only red is the club crest which is not monochromatic like what it's uh, the mint green uh, away jersey so that's at least something but at least make the side stripes red. Right? Or make the color red. Just put a little bit of red in there. Just don't have this gray and white. It's not a good kit. A much better kit is the third royal team in there, which is Benfica. I mean, Benfica is a team that really belongs to the Champions League. They were the first team to not be called Real Madrid to win it. They won it twice in a row. Then Bela Gutmann's curse set in. I said this in my Champions League preview. Uh, a few days ago uh, and they have been to the final a lot uh, I think the last time they were in the European Cup final was in 1990 when they lost to Milan uh, and then they have been to the Europa League final twice in a row where they should probably have won one they didn't manage so the curse is well alive this is a classic Benfica jersey and actually if Bayern Munich's home jersey looked at like that there would be no complaints for me uh, maybe the one thing is give the color a little bit more accent with the white. I think a white color would do this jersey very well. I remember the one in 2013 with the white, white, white color. I loved a lot. Here we just have white stripes maybe. So it's a tad too red, but other than that, such a classic look. Of course, Flammer, it's sponsor. Uh, we're getting used to They have many big teams under contract. The Benfica logo with the eagle is a classic, so I think this is a straight up nine stars. So, really good job by Adidas. Not messing, I even like the collar with the button opening. It's pretty cool. Um, also, the away jersey is pretty smart. I wish that the black was replaced with uh, red. Then I think this would look even better for Benfica. Um, this way, it kind of reminds me more of a Milan away jersey. But yeah. Smart look. I 
don't necessarily like the monochromatic uh, Benfica crest because the eagle gets completely lost on it. So that's maybe the downside. Uh, and that again, that the red is only on the inside kind of is a little bit of a downer. Um, it's, n it's a clean looking jersey, um, but there's something missing for me. So I give this only uh, six stars. And then we are already at Ajax and I honestly, I won, while I like my Ajax jersey here a lot, since it has some considerable aging to it, I would like to get an, a newer version of it. And I have to say this version is probably one of the nicer ones that I've seen as of late. Um, the difference being is, and um, I like on the old jersey that everything is centered and then you have to sponsor kind of vertically. Oh, I have an Ajax jersey on, so here's the, it makes a lot of sense in the strap is centered. Now they move the um, uh, arrangement a little bit more classically. So we have the crest here on the proper left, we have the Adidas and then we have the sponsor below. And the sponsor is actually also not intrusive. I like the um, classic white v-neck. Um, I think it gives some character. I wish it was a little bit more red white like those jerseys here. They, that was just a really nice uh, touch to that. But I think it looks overall nice. It's a classic Ajax look. You cannot mess with that one. Um, nine stars right off the bat. Really another good uh, job by Adidas. Not messing around with the classic pattern. Not like with Bayern, I'm inclined to say. And then uh, the reason why I pulled out the black white uh, IX Avengers that I have is because the current one is very similar. It's also black. It has the weird Adidas color that's kind of cut here. So the color could be nice. And then instead of red, they use a uh, beige accent color. That's the one I don't like. Um, the shoulders are pretty much like the Morocco shirt, but uh, they use a different color. So yeah, um, uh, IX Crest you know, that one is monochromatic, so it's okay that it's in white. But I think this one could be a little, have a little bit more pep by using red or just a little bit more flashy color. I think red would look great on here. Uh, and you could do something similar here. Um, maybe have the red go here, then have a gray on top maybe. That could work or really use red for the shoulders. I have the white and maybe separate it with gray. Something a little bit more uh, peppy. So again, uh, almost like the Benfica shirt, I like what they're doing, but I don't like the colors. And I'm even gonna go lower, this is a five star shirt for me. Although the idea is there, but it could be better. And then the last team uh, is the, the Greek champions, Aik from Athens. And they are supplied by Capelli. So we have three Adidas teams and then one um, supplier that I actually haven't heard. Uh, before and I gotta say it, it looks pretty interesting. Yellow with black stripes and similar to the Porto that we saw yesterday, we have uh, pinstripe separating. Maybe the one downside is that the black stripes have full width and then the black pinstripes kind of intrude into the yellow stripes. A little bit more evenness there would do this shirt very well. But other than that, really nice. They of course have a betting company as a sponsor, which is uh, not shown in this picture. Uh, and in European play where they cannot wear the betting sponsor, they use either UEFA project like say No to Racism as they were in Amsterdam uh, this past Wednesday. Um, this is a really nice looking Ajax jersey, I have to say. I even like this black dots. It just gives it something extra. Um, I think because it's not the classic, I'm gonna go eight stars, but I really like this jersey as well. Uh, classic Greek <laughs> league jersey, Ike. The away jersey um, in blue is also cool. Uh, it caught me a little bit off guard, but I like the color combination. And of course the color is really nice. It still has the uh, yellow diamonds now on top here. Uh, it reminds me of an Arsenal away kit. I probably have a little bit of a issue with the fact that it's this blue is still of a kind of darker color, so the contrast is not well there. But I think it will still work if you can work with yellow and black. Yellow is maybe the lighter color, then you can wear the blue. 
um, and also that it's not entirely a club color. I, you know, I'm not an expert on Ike, but blue seems a little bit of left field, although it seems to make sense here, and I like the overall look of it. Uh, so, if I used blue, this would be a nine, since blue is not. Yeah, I give this a seven. And then the uh, third jersey is of course in black. This would make a better away jersey, uh, to be honest. Um, yeah, black, 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 black. I wish they had the eagle on the front. Uh, the color looks weird to me. Uh, it's the Mandarin style color with the yellow inset here. Get this yellow away and I would give this another 9, but this color ruins it for me. I'm going 7 here. I just want to see if I don't see any pattern out there. Well, Group E is in the books. Let me know which jerseys you like. If there's uh, anything you disagree with me, where you agree with me, I would also like to know how, it, how would you rate this. Give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. I'll talk to you soon and we're going to look at Group F tomorrow.